some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in uh, Staten Island, New York, with Long Island Audit, a.k.a. Sean Paul Reyes, where he uh, attempts to film inside of a police department and is once again booted out of the building. This time, he tries to be real sneaky about it and press the uh, cell phone against his chest to make it look like he's not recording. Oh, come on, Sean. Did you really think that would fool anybody? I mean, you've got such a superiority complex that you think everybody else is a complete idiot. Which, that is your major downfall, dude, because you know what? You're not always going to be the smartest person in the room. In fact, oftentimes, you are one of the dumbest people in the room. Well, at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today, we're at the 121st Precinct here in Staten Island, New York. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. You want so much transparency and accountability, but yet, uh, the, what you do here later on is you just stick that cell phone on your chest and act like it's not recording. You even lie to the officers saying that you're not recording. How is that being accountable? And how is that being transparent? You're just a pile of contradictions. Well, you're a pile of something anyway. A real pile of words that would get my channel demonetized, should I say them in public? Many tic tacs later. But, let's see, if I hold the phone to my chest, they won't know if I'm recording or not, so... How would they... trespass me from the building without knowing? So this is a test. I'm usually very honest and open about my recording, because it's my constitutional right, but we see where that got me Last time, in Brooklyn, the 61st Precinct, my freedom stolen from me for six hours, and my property. Oh, your freedom was stolen from you for six hours. Oh, poor little thing. But you know what? Maybe you should uh, stop doing things you're not supposed to be doing. Because you know what? New York does have a wiretapping law. And if it comes back to bite you in the ass, well, that's your problem, Sean. I mean, don't go crying to anybody else if that ends up happening one day. Because you know what, Mr. I know the law better than anybody else. You probably should have le read up on something like that. Let's see. Let's prove their policy to be ineffective. Because if I say I'm not recording, or I say I don't answer questions and I'm not showing them my phone, they have no probable cause. Filming inside of a public lobby is not a crime. So they have no probable cause to search my phone or to take it from me out of my hand because I'm not breaking any laws. So if they can't search my property and I don't answer any questions, which is my Fifth Amendment right, how would they know that I'm recording and how would they subsequently trespass me? Oh, gee, Sean, you're such a genius, aren't you? Because nobody would ever figure out that somebody holding a cell phone to their chest with the capability of audio and visual recording would be doing something so nefarious. Oh, me, oh, my. Uh, yeah, Sean, you're an idiot. Let's find out. Let's test this theory. I've heard a lot of you in the comment section... giving me this advice to see. Hey, what's going on, buddy? You can't record it yet. There's a sign right there that says, members of the public are prohibited from audio recording. Please shut the audio recorder off. Oh, I, did I, did, I, did I say it was on? I didn't say it was on. Let me see. You're recording. Do you have, prob do you, do you have probable cause to search my property, sir? What? Do you have probable cause, a warrant, to search probable my property? Warrant? Yeah, do you have what a... What does that sign say? You have your phone out, it's facing me. But does that mean that I'm recording? Yeah, let my boss have it. I'm not... Who says that I'm recording? Okay. I 
I just want to make, like I said, I, I, I don't want you filming out there. Okay, yeah. But it's prohibited to film. Inside. But I never said I was filming outside to begin with. Okay. You made yeah. that assumption. Yeah, but again, you're holding the phone up as you're mimicking a recording. I'm just letting you know if you are recording, you're in violation, you're trespassing, and I'm just advising you, you're not allowed to record inside a police precinct. But no one said I was recording. Okay. I'm just saying, just please, okay? You cannot record inside a police precinct, okay? You're holding up a phone. Mimicking as if you're recording. But there's there's nothing illegal about okay. that, Lieutenant. You, th th there isn't. You're right. But if you are not allowed to film inside a police precinct, you could be subject to arrest for trespassing. Okay? So if you're recording inside a police precinct, you are subject to trespassing. You're subjected but to... Do you, have, do you have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I'm committing a crime? Sir, again, I'm telling you, I don't want any I'm issues with you. I don't want any issues this, with you either, this, Lieutenant. This is, this I'm, is the deal. I told you... I understand that you have an unconstitutional every, policy every here. I have every right to film outside. I have every right to film inside if I wanted to, but I'm not saying that... Okay, there's, a, there's signage telling you that it is prohibited to film inside of the police precinct. That's not a law, sir. You are not allowed to film inside of the police precinct. Okay, but I never said okay. I was. That's, that's it. You're, you are not allowed to film inside of the police He's precinct. He's filming inside of the police okay. precinct right now, and I'm sure you are too. I am. I'm active on my body wall camera. So I'm just letting you know, if you're filming inside a police precinct, we're going to ask you to leave. Okay. But who you said know, I was filming? Just hold on. With you. Just hear me out for a second. I'm gonna hear you out. Sure. I'm gonna. No I'm gonna just ask you if you're filming to leave. Okay. I'm assuming by you holding up your phone like this with your phone pointing towards me, I'm assuming that you're recording inside a police precinct. Well, that'd so be making I'm a huge assumption because I'm, I'm there was a woman. There was a woman two years ago that was had her arm broken for filming inside the police station, and okay. she actually said she was. And okay. she actually wasn't. She was just saying. So maybe I'm just holding the so, camera up, you okay. know, my phone up if just because you, I want to. If you are to. filming, I'm going to ask that you leave. Okay. I don't want to answer will, any questions. Again, I'm not asking you. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not asking you any questions. Okay, great. I'm just Perfect. telling you, if you are indeed filming, okay, like I said, I will check. How would you know? I well, gee, Sean, uh, seeing as how that you have a YouTube channel, uh, I'm sure it might make sense that it might end up on YouTube. I mean, uh, these p officers do know about you idiotic First Amendment auditors, and so they probably got your channels on their favorites so they can make sure that they know who you are and when you come by. Because you know what, Sean? You're not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer anyway, and that question just proves it. I will check the precinct cameras. I'm going to check the precinct cameras. If I see that you are filming, okay. I'm going to ask you to leave. If you don't want to leave, you're going to be subject to arrest for trespassing. But can we agree that just, can we, can we okay, grant something, gonna, Lieutenant? Yeah. Wait, can we just grant something, Lieutenant? Yeah. Holding my phone to my chest, it doesn't mean that I'm recording, correct? Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, okay, you're, great. You're, you're, you're holding a phone up gesturing as if you're recording but that doesn't mean that i am but again this is the, this is a normal stance that everybody takes in the recording but it doesn't mean that i am but so, somebody could hold their phone in this in this fine. in this I'm manner just, without I'm recording to though check the precinct sure cameras. go ahead take check them if you are filming again you're not i don't see how you would tell from the cameras if i'm filming or not I, I, there are cameras everywhere in this building I'm yeah check the precinct cameras sure if you are indeed filming I'm just going to advise you to leave. You're not in trouble. You're not under arrest. I'm just going to ask you to leave. Okay. I, don't, I just don't see how you'd know I'm filming or not. If you refuse to leave, you could be subject to arrest. Oh, I, I've been I've been arrested. I've been arrested for filming in the police department before. I'm, I'm just saying that there's, there's nothing... Okay, Sean, this would have been a good time for you to keep your damn mouth shut considering that you just let the cat out of the bag anyway because you just admitted that you were arrested in a police department for filming, which is an outright lie to begin with right there considering you were trespassed out of there and arrested. But that's besides the point. But basically what you just admitted to is you have a history of doing this, so it would only be logical that somebody like you who has that phone up to their chest like that would naturally be filming. And since you're being belligerent, that also adds to the uh, speculation that you are filming. So, with all those pieces put together, it's only logical to assume that you are being a complete asshat and just filming. You see, Sean, uh, not everybody is as dumb as you are. Some people actually have the ability to use logical reasoning, but unfortunately, you don't. Or at the very least, you have this uh, belief that uh, not everybody is capable of using logical reasoning to work things out. Contact card again. I'll take it. Sure, why not? Yeah, we'll have enough. We had enough interaction at this point. 
and you're you know threatening arrest and things. So I want to make no, sure I'm that not, I know who I'm you not are. Threatening arrest. I'm just oh, for sure. I'm just holding my phone you here. Could be, you could be subject to arrest. For but wait, hypothetically, but yeah, list yeah, hypothetically, sorry. Lieutenant. Hypothetically, I see the sign there where it says members cannot are prohibited from recording. So I'm holding. I'm telling you, I'm holding my phone in my chest. I don't answer any <laughs> questions above that. But if someone came in here secretly recording. How would you stop them from doing that? Would that be breaking the law, Lieutenant? Think about it. I'm trying to prove the silliness yeah. of your sign here. Because if somebody came in here secretly recording, which is the person that would want to do more damage would probably do secretly recording, right? But in New York State, there's nothing illegal about secretly recording, correct? So to answer your question, no. Like I would have no idea if someone was recording if they were secretly recording. Mm -hmm. so and then, then they go are, post that video online, could you do anything about it? No. like I Because there's nothing illegal. I can't so That's what I'm saying, I that sign is silly. It's just silly, the sir. Point you're trying to make, because technically, no, it's not illegal per se, but if you're doing it inside of a police precinct and we advise you to leave, you could be subject to arrest. So that's why- For criminal gonna, trespassing. Yeah. Exactly. In public. Not for filming <laughs> per se. There's no charge for filming. No, I, I'm aware of that. But that's what I'm saying is that it, yeah, yeah. It, it seems kind of disingenuous, the sign. It's kind of like, hey, if you're openly filming, uh -huh. we're going to tell you to leave a, a public lobby, which you have every right to be in, in any other circumstance. Any other yeah. circumstance, I have a right to be here, correct? Yeah. But you're saying because, I'm, because if I was filming, I would be subject to arrest for criminal trespassing. But that seems disingenuous because you're saying that if I secretly record, then that's okay because I can't tell you to leave at that point. There's no way of me knowing that this secret. You can't recording. determine if you're secretly recording. Right? And you can't determine you can't right determine if I'm recording. Yeah. And I have yeah. reasonable suspicion to believe that you are recording right now. And I'm well, leaving the benefit. I'm, like I said, you, I want you, to give reasonable you suspicion of what? But, yeah. but you, you need to have. But, but wait, yeah. reasonable suspicion, officer, of a crime. That's what you need okay. in order to crime detain. To be filming inside of Wrong. Police station. Wrong. It is. He just told you that it wasn't. He just told you. The lieutenant just said that it wasn't. Okay. That sign, sir, you're wrong. Yeah, it no, it's not. And there he goes. He's twisting the words of everybody around him to fit his own narrative. That lieutenant never said it was okay to film inside that precinct. You just said that, not him. And seeing as how you want to present your little scenarios, which are a bunch of BS, let me uh, present you with an actual real-world scenario about why it is not okay to film inside of a police precinct. What if you had somebody who was a victim of a crime that came in there? Do you actually think they would want some random stranger in there filming everything around them just in case that film managed to make it to the wrong person and they were the uh, victim of witness intimidation? Are you really that dense? Because you know what? That's one of the biggest points of filming inside of a police station, you bloody moron. It is to protect the witnesses from getting intimidated. But seeing as how you are a no-good criminal scumbag anyway, I can see where you're coming from because you want to commit as many crimes as you can and get away with it, which is exactly why you're trying to affect change in this way. But it'll never happen because people actually use more logic than you will ever have because people actually care about those witnesses rather than idiots like you. You're wrong. The lieutenant just said that it's not a crime to film inside of a police station. It, I just, he just said that. I'll take your contact information. He just said that. Are you paying attention to this conversation or not? Because that's what he just said. That sign is not a law. It's not. It's a law in this building. No, it's not a law in this building. That's ridiculous to even say. So, what's going on there? That's I'll ridiculous. Talk, you're good. You're good. So yeah. Yeah, you're escalating I, the situation. I just, I just, um, I just asked again. If you're not here to do a report per se, you can hang out here for a sec. Again, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm, let me do my thing, okay? If I do indeed see that you are recording, if there's a camera capturing your recording device actually in progress. All I'm going to do is just simply ask, hey, sir, either stop recording. If you don't want to stop recording, I'll ask you to leave at that point. I'm not threatening arrest on you. I'm just telling you, I'm advising you. If you refuse to leave and we determine that you are recording, and you don't stop recording. I just don't see how you can determine that. Arrest the criminal trespass. I just, I, I understand you what you're saying. I, 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 I understand what, yeah, yeah. listen, listen, yeah. I might, 
you've been cordial with me, you've been respectful with me, I'm gonna treat you in the same return. Your officer, not so much, but I will just say that there is literal no way of you knowing that I'm recording other than taking my property. And you, Lieutenant, know you can't take my property, right? Absolutely. Because, right. because like I just explained to this officer, it's not a crime to record. So even if you had a reasonable suspicion that I was recording, which you probably do, right? You probably have a reasonable yeah. suspicion I'm recording. That in and of itself isn't a crime. Yeah, so that's why I'm trying to say yeah. that means you can't take my phone from me right no, now and check, no, right? Exactly. That's the silliness and that's yeah. the pettiness that I'm trying to illustrate here, Lieutenant. And I, I, I agree with you. I understand that you didn't make the policy, and I, I, I get it, but you definitely did take an oath to uphold our constitutional rights. 100%, so, I take that very serious. I hope you do. I take it very serious. I hope you so, do. Um, so, yeah, again, I, I want you to be able to do your thing in the most respectful manner possible. And I'm trying okay, to be respectful. And I don't want to, like I said, I'm in no way trying to obstruct you. Again, we just have our policies. I have to adhere to it. And Maybe that won't be a policy anymore. Maybe, maybe <laughs> enough people. Enough, we the people can affect change, and then That's I can true. come back here and we That's can have true. a better conversation. But again, so, I'm just—I just like to hold my phone this way, and that's yeah. all I'm going to say about it. You know. In um, in other other notes, do you have anything that you need to like? Need uh, to can I get a complaint form actually? Yes, I would appreciate that. that. Thank you. Exactly. Appreciate that. Thanks. One minute thirty-seven seconds later. Hey, Lieutenant. You got. The- I'm sorry to bother you again. Again, I just want to let you know again. Sure. So, uh, I have a reasonable suspicion that you are recording. I'm going to ask you in the most respectful way. You're not under arrest. You're I'm asking for my complaint form. I'm just asking you to leave the precinct. For what reasonable you suspicion are, do you have? You, you are you are holding a device up to your chest, pointing it for an extended period of time, leading me to believe that you are recording inside of the I like precinct. to hold my phone like this for my safety, and so no one steals it. Yourself, sir? It's, people speak sir? to themselves all the time, officer. You know, Sean, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of self-talk. Helps people solve problems when they are trying to figure something out. But when you have a device that's capable of recording and uh, walking around uh, with it, talking uh, to yourself, uh, yeah, uh, that's a little suspicious, dude. I mean, uh, these officers are not exactly stupid, so... Uh, just admit that you're doing it. Just admit that you are, uh, trying to get clicks and views on YouTube. And then just accept your trespassing and, uh, try to sell it as you getting persecuted, okay? And just leave the building. That'll be fine. I'm asking you. Didn't I ask you for a complaint form? Because now you. I need one. Hold on a second. Hold on. Can we make a deal? If you can, I will leave as soon as you give me on my complaint there's, form. There's no bothering, sir. I'm just going to have to So you're not going to deny me services, I will Lieutenant? I facilitate whatever complaint you want to make. Whatever complaint you want to make, I will facilitate that for you. I'm going to ask you to stop recording. But if, I never said that I was. I'm just, then you're, you're holding your phone up. But is it illegal to hold your phone this way, sir? No, it's not. But you're, you're leading me to believe. But if I held my to... phone like this, like a normal person, and I was still recording, it wouldn't make any difference. I think we're talking over each other. Just give me a second. Give me a minute to talk. Let me say what I got to say. I promise you I will hear everything you have to say. Okay? Just give me a minute to talk. Because you keep on interrupting each other. So, you're holding your phone up in a manner that's giving me reasonable suspicion that you are recording inside of a police precinct. I'm formally asking you to stop doing that. The manner in which you're acting, which you're holding up your phone, I'm asking you to stop doing that. I'm going to tell you, please... Put your phone in your pocket. Stop pointing your camera towards this precinct because it's leading me to believe that you are recording inside of a police precinct. That's all I'm asking you. Once you put your camera down, but you have no, it. you have no reasonable, articulable suspicion okay. of a crime, sir. I'm so, not. I- not according to your fallacious reasoning, does he have any res? But according to. Uh, Objective reality, yes, he does have reasonable, articulable suspicion that you are recording. Especially since, well, uh, you obviously are, you freaking moron. I mean, it doesn't exactly take a genius to see that uh, after uh, he was done with you earlier, that you were uh, walking around and uh, talking to yourself while filming certain objects. I mean, uh, yeah, uh... That's not exactly easy to hide. 
again, that leads me to the belief that you have such a low opinion of everybody else that you think you're so superior to everybody else that you think that, uh, well, everybody has such a low IQ anyway, they won't notice. But unfortunately for you, you have one of the lowest IQs around because you believe yourself to be superior to everybody else. Therefore, you don't challenge yourself to learn and to grow. And therefore, your intelligence stagnated years ago, making you quite uh, an ignoramus today. I, I am here lawfully. I'm here lawfully, and I'm asking for a complaint form, and I will be on my way. If you can grab me a complaint form, I will be on my way. I got a complaint form for what? What? What do you, do because you're, you're 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 assuming I'm, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna file a formal complaint against okay. yourself and this officer because you're assuming that I am recording fine. without any sort okay. of proof we, 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 that I'm recording. You have no proof. Fine. You have a hunch. Sir, I'm gonna ask you. I want a complaint I'll, form. I'll, 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 I'll do a cease brief you. I'm gonna ask you to leave the precinct. Okay. I'm gonna ask you to leave the precinct. Can you leave the precinct? Because you're recording inside. Of, I'm assuming I'm, that you're recording. You're assuming. The you're assuming I'm recording. I have reasonable suspicion that you are recording inside of the police precinct. Okay, so you're gonna bring me the complaint form outside. So, no, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to. I'm talking to your supervisor. I'm, I'm, I'm what are you, you doing? Right now, Escalating. To, to leave the precinct. So can I will leave the precinct? Are you going to under threat? Of, if I don't leave the precinct, you will arrest me, Lieutenant. Is that what you're telling if me? If you do not leave the precinct right now, you will be arrested for criminal trespass. Can you bring me? Can you if bring you me a complaint form precinct, outside? We'll talk outside. If you do not leave, can the you bring me the right complaint now, form outside? Whatever it is you want, I'm asking. Can you bring me the complaint form outside? Sir, leave the precinct. Can you bring me the complaint form outside? You're 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 ejecting me from a precinct. You're ejecting me from a precinct without knowing anything about what I'm doing here. I'm here to file a complaint. Okay. I appreciate you leaving the precinct. Okay. Again, if you want to talk, we'll talk out here. You're not allowed to report this out of the police precinct. Okay. G A R D A two two three one seven is my shield number. Okay. I will facilitate again for you. Okay. No, I agree. See what he's doing? He's in, he escalates. He escalates. You're escalating. Yeah. I will talk to you. So give him my complaint form because you just you just you just unlawfully you just unlawfully removed me from a public building. So I would like a complaint form, Lieutenant. Please. No one. You have no idea what I'm doing. You have no idea what I'm doing. You have no idea because guess what? I don't have to answer questions. I just saw you. I just saw the film up on the phone. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Okay. But you already removed me. You already removed me. I want my complaint form. It doesn't matter what you saw. It matters what I what I said. And you're a tyrant, you know that? You're a tyrant. All right, guys, so we're just going to wait out here for the lieutenant to come back. So approved our point, right? That's 100% a violation of our rights. Yeah, lieutenant. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do this while I throw it out. Careful. I know I'm going to break my neck out here. Well, I am just going to end it right here because there's only so much of this idiot I can stand. I didn't want to hear another 15 minutes of him talking about, oh, my rights are violated. You're a mean man. That's what, not what I want to hear. I mean, I don't want to hear that BS out of him. I mean, it's just a pack of bullshit lies that he wants to build a narrative, make himself look like the hero when he's actually a zero. He says there's no law against what he was doing in there, but yeah, there are uh, eavesdropping laws that can come into effect if he plays his cards right, if he picks up something that he's not supposed to pick up on a uh, conversation that he has no business listening to anyway. But hey, let's just hope one day he gets caught uh, filming a conversation that he's not exactly privy to and he gets felony charges on that. One can hope, anyway. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.